Right Capital's investment module allows you to analyze the impact of a client's current assets on their overall financial plan. Every tab within this module is designed to pull back the curtain on a client's investments in different ways, from their current allocation, to their future allocation path, to their tax diversification, and much more. In this training video, we'll review each section of the investment module in detail, with an emphasis on best practices and other important tips. The first section of the investment module is the Asset Allocation tab. This area provides pivotal insight into a household's asset allocation as of today. This tab is divided into two pages, Summary and Detail. The Summary page will display two pie charts side by side, comparing the household's current allocation to a chosen target allocation. By default, the current allocation on the left will be set to all accounts. This provides an insightful look into a client's big picture investment allocation. Allocation information is pulled from the net worth section of the profile, where all of a client's investment accounts are entered and allocated. The projected annual return and standard deviation will be displayed below the pie chart. These percentages are calculated using your advisor-specific asset return assumptions. As a reminder, you can double-check and adjust these assumptions at the client level within the gear icon, settings, return assumptions tab of each plan. Using the drop-down menu above the current allocation pie chart, you can choose to isolate individual accounts, entire groups of accounts, or any customized combination of accounts. You can use this feature to view asset allocation by owner, tax bucket, or specific account type. On the right side of the page, you can compare a client's current allocation to a specific target allocation. The drop-down menu above the pie chart offers the ability to change the target allocation to any model portfolio built into Right Capital, including custom models. You can view Right Capital's default models and build your own custom portfolios within the Models Portfolios tab of your advisor portal. With a target allocation in place, this page enables you to clearly demonstrate to clients how they're invested today, the portfolio that you're recommending, and the major differences between the two. In the center of the page, you can find a breakdown of each portfolio categorized into Morningstar asset classes. And in the action items at the bottom of the page, you'll find the changes required in terms of dollar value to realign a client's investments with the chosen target allocation. Lastly, the Detail tab allows you to see a more granular asset class breakdown for both the current allocation and the target allocation. In addition to specific asset class percentages for each portfolio, You'll also find visuals clearly demonstrating whether the current allocation is over or underweighted in a particular asset class compared to your target. When the bar graph extends to the left of the midline, this indicates that the current allocation is overweighted in that asset class. Bars extending to the right of the midline indicate that the current allocation is underweighted. As a final pro tip, Specific holding recommendations can be added to the notes area at the bottom of the action items. These will print directly on any PDF reports that you generate for this household. The next section of the investment module is the allocation path tab. While the asset allocation section breaks down a client's investment strategy as of today, the allocation path visualizes their investment strategy out into the future. This can be a valuable tool in demonstrating to clients how their overall investment allocation might shift alongside some of their changing financial goals as they age. The allocation path graph will use the first client's age on the x-axis and the percentage of the investments held in equity, fixed income, and cash on the y-axis. The first client refers to the individual entered within the client card in the family profile. They'll also be listed first in the upper left corner of the plan. A client's allocation path can be adjusted by making changes to the allocation method plan setting. You can access this setting within the gear icon, settings, methodology tab of each plan. 
This setting determines how a client's allocation will be projected out into the future within the financial plan. There are a few different options to choose from here. Same asset allocation for all years will use the client's current allocation as the long-term rate of return within the projections. The pre- and post-retirement allocation will use the client's current allocation in pre-retirement and will allow you to specify a different model portfolio to be used in post-retirement. Enable GlidePath will model a gradual transition in a client's investment allocation over time. Choosing a different allocation method will result in a change to the client's allocation path, both within the Investment Module Allocation Path tab as well as within the client's future-looking retirement projections. For more information on the allocation method setting and its impact, we recommend taking a look at the Right Capital Help Center. Our next investment tab is the Risk Analysis, which is specific to premium and platinum Right Capital subscribers. This area provides you with powerful tools to examine the risk of a client's assets, assign clients risk questionnaires to complete, and help clients better visualize and understand their own tolerance for risk. We won't be diving into risk in this training video, but we do have another training video dedicated to Right Capital's risk tools. You can find the link for that video in the description below or by searching risk within our help center. Our next two investment module tabs, sector and style and concentration, provide a more detailed breakdown of the holdings within a client's portfolio. Before diving into these two tabs, it's worth mentioning that there must be position level account data present within the client's investments in the profile net worth area in order to use these tools. In other words, manually entering a client's investments by total balance will not feed any information into these tabs. When entering accounts manually, you can use the enter holdings slash asset class option to build out accounts with specific positions. Linking accounts using account aggregation or an advisor level integration will also pull in position level account data. All of these methods will enable you to use the sector and style and concentration tabs. Let's start with sector and style. This is a visual tool that empowers you to efficiently diversify a client's portfolio by comparing it to a broad market index. More specifically, this is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index which aims to deliver well-diversified and accurate exposure to the entire U.S. stock market. The client's investments are shown in gray, and the market index is shown in blue. You can hover your mouse over the equity sector chart to view specific percentages for each sector. Switching to the equity style subtab will display two equity distribution grids, comparing the client's portfolio to the market index. Within both subtabs, you can click into the action items at the bottom of the page to see the most overweight and underweight categories in the client's portfolio. The Concentration tab will highlight any concentrated positions within a client's investment portfolio, alerting you to substantial downside risks within the plan. This includes both investment accounts as well as stock plans. By default in Right Capital, a concentrated position is defined as any position which is equal to or greater than 5% of the total portfolio value. You can adjust the concentration threshold slider in the action items to customize the percentage used in the analysis. Beneath this slider, Right Capital will display the steps needed to eliminate the concentrated positions based on your chosen threshold. Our next section is the Tax Allocation tab which details how a client's invested assets are categorized by taxation. This page clearly demonstrates to clients the breakdown of their assets between the taxable, tax-deferred, and tax-free buckets. The percentage of the client's overall portfolio will display within the pie chart on the left, and the actual dollar amount in each bucket will display to the right. To zoom into a tax bucket and view the individual account details, you can either click on a section of the pie chart or click on a dollar amount. By zooming in, you'll also be able to see which account types are included in each bucket. The last section of the investment module is the holdings tab, which is another area somewhat reliant on position level account data 
being entered or linked within the net worth area. This area allows you to see a consolidated view of the holdings within a household's investment accounts. Using the drop-down menus above the holdings table, you can filter holdings by owner, tax category, or individual account. Additionally, you can click the column headings to sort the holdings list by criteria like quantity, price, value, and gains and losses. If you click on the blue download button in the upper right hand corner, you can download the holdings table as a CSV file, which you can then open in Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet software. Any filters that you've applied will be preserved when downloading the holdings table. That does it for our overview of the investment module in Right Capital. If you have any additional questions on any of the information covered in this video, please don't hesitate to utilize the educational resources within our Help Center or to reach out to our advisor support team for more details.